Hi darlings, how are you? This is going to be for my Sagittarius and this is going to be for the week of the 20th through the 25th of November. I'll be using my angel, my guardian angel messages tarot and to clarify I'll be using my angel wisdom tarot. So Sagittarius, let's see what messages we have for you. So Sagittarius, this is for you. The release card. There was some kind of ending not too long ago. Remember, endings usually make room for beginnings, okay? Even though it's kind of emotional when they happen. This ending brought a lot of conflict or this ending happened because of conflict. That was the five of air. And we have the king of fire. And I would say that's you, Sagittarius. And we have the three of water which is about celebration. The high priestess, you need to use your intuition, darlings. In regards to the love story. <laughs> There's going to be a transformation. Some chaos and confusion. Use your intuition. The three of earth. Universe could be working for some working on something for you where finances are concerned. We'll see. And the lovers, there might need to be a choice. You might need to make a choice where love is concerned. So let's see. Okay, so on top of the release card, we have the Knight of Cups, we have the King of Air, and we have the Moon. There's some kind of, not too long ago, something romantic came into your area. This might have had something to do with a, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. This energy is pretty intelligent, but you need to listen to your intuition, Okay. There's some, there, not too long ago, there was some kind of ending here. I'm not sure. Just listen to your intuition. The feeling I get, it's something that caused you a lot of conflict. The feeling I get is like maybe, maybe somebody from the past. Maybe somebody from the past trying to come back in. Something romantic happening. It got to do with air energy. A Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. And you got the moon here. Events are going on behind the scenes. That she's, events happening behind the scenes that you don't know about yet. You need to pay attention. Pay attention. Listen to your intuition. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the King of Air. And we have the moon. <clears throat> Then we have the five of air, which is about conflicts, you know, arguments, mistakes. This is past energy now. The ten of air endings, the two of earth, um, feeling off balance, the three of earth. But yet, something's being built for you where finances are concerned. I mean, maybe something ended. You're going to recover from whatever it was. You know that. You got the ten of air. The two of earth and the three of earth. Then you have the king of fire. 
which is you. It's a lot of money around you and a lot of arguing. A lot of money and a lot of arguing. We got the Knight of Earth. You're loyally dedicated. I mean, you got a routine down where your finances are concerned. You planted something in the past. Um, stop worrying. Just keep working. You know what I mean? Just work towards your goals. Just stop worrying. I mean, when you worry about money, you chase it away. Worry brings worry. All right? Money is something that, yes, we do need it to survive. But you got to think of everything else other than the money. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. Listen, on this journey, I will say things that are wrong. And I will say things that people will think is right. Okay? I am on a journey myself. <laughs> so just de bear, bear with me. Bear with me. You know I love you guys dearly, right? So anyway, so we got the Knight of Earth. We got the Seven of Earth. The worrying unnecessarily about money. Stop worrying. This was past energy anyway. And the Five of Air. There was some kind of conflict where money was concerned. You got the Knight of Earth. You got the Seven of Earth. And you got the Five of Air, which is about conflict. Then you got the Three of Water, which is about celebration. Use your intuition, okay? The Two of Five, you got a decision to make. You got the Queen of Cups here. This could be an energy in your environment. Somebody you're thinking about, maybe. This could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. Um, you're taking the next steps. You're making progress, okay? Things are moving forward for you. Now, it could be that you might be feeling a little emotional. Um, or this could be an energy in your environment. Or maybe you got a gift and you need to start listening to that gift. And the four cups, you're getting some insights. You know things. But just don't be so deep in thought that you miss an, a beautiful golden opportunity, okay? You got the two of fire, the queen of cups, and the four of cups. Water cups, you know what I mean. But I need you, I need you guys to use your intuition. You got to use your intuition here, darling. You're doing some manifestation. Things are going to happen fast. It's going to happen fast where love is concerned. There's some kind of love coming towards you. And this love seems like it'll be unified. But you got to use your intuition. You got a lot of wisdom and a lot of patience. Just start trusting yourself. You got the page of earth. The Eight of Fire and the Ace of Cups. Something new coming. And the Two of Water. On top of the Two of Water, we got the Four of Earth. We got the Transformation card and we got the Page of Cups. You got the Transformation card here. You, um, Please remember, like the Tarot cards, they could tell you the past, they could tell you the present, and they could tell you the future, okay? They're fluid. My friend just explained that to me, you know, that the tarot cards are fluid. They can resonate with the past. They can resonate with your current situation. And we don't know the future yet. All right. So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So babies, we got the four earth. You're talking, I mean, you're managing your resources very wisely. Um, there's some kind of change coming for, um, coming you're getting ready to experience. It's going to cause some chaos and confusion. All right. You're going to feel a little shaky. Oh, you might be feeling actually very shaky right now. <clears throat> you might be feeling a little moody where your relationships are concerned. Because you're going through a new um, emotional um, experience here. And your psychic abilities are on point. Your intuition is on point. All right. Got the four earth, the transformation card. And the Page of Cups. There's some chaos and confusion coming. It's usually powerful and often we don't expect it, all right? But it does show us things. So please make sure you learn your lesson from that. Whatever this chaos and confusion is concerned or, or concerning this chaos and confusion, there was a lesson or there is a lesson there for you. We got the transformation card again down here. All right, babies, pay attention, all right? Pay attention. You got the page of air. You're very logical, very insightful. Mm. 
This um, transformation is going to give you some information. Some information is going to break your heart. It's going to make you sad. And here you are again, Sagittarius. Or this could be a, um, this could be another fire energy in your environment. This could be a, a Aries or a Leo. You have the page of air here, which is about being on the alert. Being prepared. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. You got the three of air. There's going to be some kind of transformation you're going to go through. It's going to make you feel sad, all right? Right after that, we got the king of fire. Now, if this is not you, this could be um, another fire energy in your environment, an Aries or a Leo. Or maybe you just took charge of something, but then that doesn't make sense because it made you sad. So I feel this is an energy, okay? You got the page of um the page of air, the three of air, and the king of fire. And then we got the three of earth here. There's change coming. There's some kind of decision you're gonna have to make where love is concerned, all right? Make choices from the heart. And you could be recovering from an illness. We got the eight of air. Whatever happened, something happened that has you pretty tied up. You lack a little self-confidence. And you're having feelings of feeling helpless. Right now, you're going through a transformation. Okay, I got the release card. It shakes you up a little bit. But it makes room, it makes, it makes room for newer things to come in but this ending here right now okay so the a to air is lacking self-confidence or, or sometimes getting you getting you let me see how i can put it Sometimes we do this to ourselves. We um, put ourselves in situations. You know how you're doing some manifesting. I think I said you're doing some manifesting somewhere. You got to be specific. Specific, specific, specific. All right? Don't just pray for a good man. Pray for all the qualities. Don't just pray for a good woman. Pray for all the qualities, you know what I'm saying? Manifest. Cross the T's, dot the I's. Be grateful. I personally don't ask for nothing. All I ask is for love, to be honest with you. All I ask is for love. And I don't... Every time I find myself worrying about something, I always step away. You know, I step away a little bit and because I, I get really like this, you know? But there's something being built and there's something that you're going to have to make a choice about. And that's going to have to do with love. All right. You got the Ada Air. You got the um, the release. The release card and the lovers. And then you got the lovers here again, baby. Or babies. You got the hermit. You got the knight of air. And you got the nine of cups on top of the lovers. So whatever, whatever change is happening here, there might be, whatever change is happening here, it might have you feeling quite alone right now. There's something coming in. You're very focused and driven. Even, I mean, you got, you got yourself a little tied up in your head. Don't get me wrong. But you're going to be able to make the choice you need to make. The only thing I could see is a choice where love is concerned. We have the hermit. We got the knight of air. And we got the nine of cups. Once you go within to make your choice. Because you got to do some soul searching. It's not going to be a choice that you're just going to be able to make just like that. Okay. And it's going to bring a shift to your environment. But your wishes are going to come true. And you're going to have some good fortune. You got the Queen of Earth. This could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. 
You got the queen of air. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. And you got the five of fire. One second, Benjamin. Um, stand up for yourself and your beliefs. Have confidence in you. I don't understand these two energies, but I... Benjamin. Scratching at my door. Like he owned me. <sighs> ah, he takes care of me, though. I can't, I can't lie. He protects me. So we got the Queen of Earth, which could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn in your environment. There's some kind of choice you have to make. You got the Queen of Air here. This is a person, this could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, or maybe you're thinking about um, communicating with someone about something. Maybe you're just focusing on your career right now. Whatever it is, darling, you're standing up for your beliefs and for yourself. And you're, you have confidence. Benjamin, give me one second, please. And it seems like a whole lot of happiness. You got the Two of Cups, which is unified love. You got the Ace of Air, which is about mental clarity. And you got the Three of Cups, which... Benjamin! No, he lies down. I got to raise my voice to him. Then we have the Three of Cups, which is about celebration. So I see happiness in the forecast. It's not too bad when you think about it. Yeah, you're going to go through a little something. You're going to go through a little something, you know. You're going to have a little shaky moment. You're going to have some endings. But always remember that endings make room for new beginnings, all right? Things or people leave our lives or, or things change in our lives so that... Because we, 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 we got everything we needed to get from that energy or whatever it is or maybe they got all they needed to get from us you know what however it works all right but you got two of cups the ace of cups and the three of cups and with that i love you guys you take care of yourselves don't you give up keep your eye on the prize believe in yourself use your intuition bye <laughs>